name is Karen Dirksen and I'm a farm girl at heart and so today I'm so excited to share with you a little bit about the research I get to experience every day. So take a trip back with me to the 1980s. Pollution and chemicals were in the air. Nobody likes pollution, right? Well, actually plants all over the globe, just like these soybeans, can actually use a lot of the chemicals that are in pollution. Um, and specifically a chemical called sulfate. Sulfate was in the clouds and would come down in the form of acid rain. The roots of soybeans would go out and grab it and eat it up and they would grow lush and big. But as we cleaned up the air, we also started taking away those necessary nutrients from soybeans and other plants. Well, that's where my research comes in. I like to think of myself as a dietitian for soybeans. I'm looking at different fertilizer rates, amounts, timings, sources. Um, so you can think about it. Maybe you like to skip breakfast or maybe you like six meals all throughout the day. I'm trying to decide if plants need food all at once or in separate amounts. And then just like we can get protein from steak, eggs, nuts, plants can get sulfur from a variety of different sources as well. So I'm trying to create that perfect diet that helps feed the plants but also keeps the environment clean.